Hello, we're the Year One team at Danesfield School. In this video, we're going to show you how we taught the five senses. We hope you enjoy following our learning journey. These were the national curriculum statements that we focused on. We began our science topic by naming the different body parts. We did this actively with the children by drawing around one of their friends on large pieces of paper and then labelling the different body parts. We also sang songs and played games like Simon Says to reinforce new vocabulary. We then spent the following lessons looking at each of the five senses. The first sense we focused on was hearing. We went on a sound walk around the school grounds and listened to what we could hear, classifying these sounds as loud or quiet. We then discussed how one sense can be amplified by the removal of another sense, so we repeated the exercise wearing blindfolds. Playing in forest school. It loud or quiet? Loud. In computing lessons, we used an app called Tokaboka to create our own music. The children were able to explore loud, quiet, long, short, high and low sounds. After this, we explored the sense touch. We passed objects around the class and discussed the scientific vocabulary used for each item. We then sent the children off in groups to explore feely bags with a variety of objects in. They completed a table guessing the object based on its properties and used the scientific vocabulary to describe its texture. Next we explored sight. For this we used virtual reality to allow children to describe new experiences. We used an app called Within to choose videos that would link with individual pupils' interests and we passed around the headset. The VR in this video shows a rocket launching and it views the Earth from space. I can see a rocket flying. Oh, I'm in a spaceship. I see Earth. We then carried out our taste experiment, whereby the children were given a variety of foods to taste. They had to categorise these foods into sweet, salty, sour, bitter and peppery. We discussed the names of the different parts of the mouth and also explained that the nose is an important element when tasting. Before putting the food into their mouth, the children had to smell it and then swirl the food around their mouth to activate their taste buds. The foods we used were lemon, dark chocolate, strawberry jam, salt and vinegar crisps and rocket. The lemon's really sour. To explore the sense of smell, we used a range of essential oils, including lemongrass, rose, frankincense, lavender and eucalyptus. We put a few drops of the oils onto a tissue and the children smelt each one. Their task was then to assign the appropriate vocabulary to describe each smell, allowing them to gain a deeper understanding of what the words mean. Strong fragrance. A strong fragrance. Yeah. Very fragrance. fragrance. To consolidate our learning on the five senses, we took our children into the forest and cooked bananas filled with chocolate chips on the fire. The children explored the warmth of the fire, the sounds it made, the smell of the smoke, the taste of the food, and the changes in state of the banana and chocolate as they went through the heating process. Smoke. Feels hot. really hot. Yeah. It's a little bit sweet and it it's really chocolatey. I changed my mind. Really nice. We made this learning cross-curricular by writing Autumn Senses poems. We used some of the scientific vocabulary to create adjective word banks and then we planned, wrote and edited our poems. fun unit of work and we have been super impressed by the quality of work the children have produced. We hope you have found this video useful. See you again soon! Bye! Bye.